Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gordon's Garage. Um, this episode, um, before I forget, I usually forget to do this, but I ask y'all to uh, please like, subscribe, notification bell. Hey, even check out my uh, Facebook page at Gordon's Garage on Facebook. Um, but yes, let's get down to this episode. This episode is going to be what I go through to go to a car show. All right, this is not just going to go to a car show and visit, this is actually participating, putting the car in. So um, this car show is gonna be a little bit different because um, not only am I a member of the Chevy Club who is hosting the car show, so I'll be helping out at the car show and I will have the vet in the car show. That's the plan. So I need to do a few things to the car. We're gonna go over that in the video, prepping the car and, um, Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I, I've got mail call. Let's do mail call. Yeah, right down here. Got a big brown package in the mail. That's great stuff. Just like uh, Christmas Day. Let's uh, break right into mail call. Let's see what we got. This might be something we do in another another episode or maybe this episode. Let's see. A um, bunch of brown paper. And we've got that fun little thing where you got the box inside a box. All right. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get out. I'm just gonna try to flip it over. Ready? Ready? Don't break. Whatever's in there, don't break. It doesn't want to come out. Woo, they packed it in tight. Please tell me I don't have to go to commercial break just to get this box out. It's coming. It's on its way out. All right. Paperwork. Set the paperwork to the side and let it get inside here. All right. Hopefully this is gonna be a good product that I'm not gonna be disappointed in. And hey, we're gonna do this the hard way. All right. Gonna open that up like that and just pull this out. What do y'all think? So what do I have a ton of? I have a ton of HEI distributors, don't I? Look at there, another HEI distributor. I know what you're thinking. This is crazy, why'd you buy another one? You already have like three, right? Um, the reason I got this one is because it has a tack drive. I can get my tachometer working again. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna get this one in probably after the car show. I don't wanna mess with what I've already got. Um, I'm running and I'm able to get the car show and back and Anyways, um, huge thing here. So I was pricing uh, tax with tack drives, um, distributors with tack drives, and it turns out uh, to get an original stock with points in it with the tack drive, um, yeah, they're up there in price. They're really expensive. We're we're looking about anywhere from two fifty to four hundred dollars. I thought, man, I can't afford that, so I'm gonna have to wait. And I was waiting. For some reason, I looked up uh, electronic module for the Mallory. I thought maybe I'll just fix that to no, have no points in it. Um, I was looking on Amazon for that, and this sucker popped up. Guess how much that distributor was? It was about 50 bucks. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. AGI attack. A HR uh, a distributor with a tack drive and it still has electric tack capability. I was, I was like, I couldn't believe myself. I, I, I put it on the, the save list. I waited a little bit. I had to double check a couple of things, make sure I, I liked it and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. So that's gonna be probably in the next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in, get my tachometer running again. And but for this episode, what we're gonna work on is tricks on getting your car to look its best before you go into a show without spending a lot. There's a lot of little trucks, tricks out there and I'm gonna get kind of touch base on these things. That's gonna go pretty quick. Um, there's a few things I need to do for the show. Um, getting ready, you gotta stock up a few things. You don't just go out there without anything. You need to be prepared because you're gonna be spending most of the afternoon there and you wanna make sure you know that you're not gonna go thirsty or hungry because you don't know if this, the, there's gonna be any food vendors there or anything. But anyways, um, so let me go over that. Let's go over a few things. Okay, so um, for the first tip, this is gonna be something a lot of people already know. So 
This is gonna be easy one to figure out. It's the Sharpie. Black cars. It's really easy to fix issues with your paint if you have a Sharpie. You can get these in a lot of different colors and you might find something that fits your car, but when it comes to a black car, man, it's easy to hide stuff. Um, with that said, black cars also have a weakness and that is whenever you buff the car. You buff the car, you have any nicks or scratches or, or little spots in the paint. Yeah, that buffing compound, it loves to hide in there and the white chalkiness of it sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, with that said, sometimes a Sharpie can fix that, but sometimes you're just stuck. I have a special kind of um, stuff over there on the shelf uh, that, that's made for black paint, to buff black paint. It's dark. It, it won't leave a white residue in any of the cracks. Anyways, I'm going to flip the camera around here. I'm going to fix a couple little spots on my paint that's going to help me kind of hide blemishes. Let me show you. Okay, look in here on the car, um, you might can't tell from this distance, but sometimes it hides real well because whenever you have chrome or something black shiny, a little white little chip in the paint seems like a gleam or a reflection of something, but when you get up closer you can go, wow, yeah, this is a driver and so I'm going to have issues with the paint. And right there I've got a couple pieces of paint chipped out and it kind of stands out. So if you just take your Sharpie and you pull the lid off, you don't have to scrub around. All you have to do is just dab on right where that spot's at. I'll dab there, I'll dab there, there. One more spot right there. You can go back over it if you want, but just like that, it disappears. Um, yeah, from a distance, maybe I'll go over it again. Yeah, that, that's what I needed. And so I can help my blemishes out that way, but overall, when it comes to the paint of this car, I do have a little bit of shine. It needs a good wax and buff, but uh, other than that, that is one of the tri uh, tips I'm given is a black Sharpie can hide rock chips or little flakes out of your paint. Okay, for tip number two, what I'm gonna be addressing is gonna be some unsightly molding that you have around the seal of your door and the windows and stuff. Um, it's one of the really sore spots I have on my car. It needs a lot of replacing. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of flip you around and give you a before look and let you see what the issues are. And then I'll show you what I do to fix that, all right? So let's take a look at the car. Okay, from here, what you're seeing is the window is down. And um, if you'll look right up here in the corner, Man, that is pretty rough. So this is what um, most of the rubber molding around the window will look like on a car that's about 50 years old. And it's very typical, atypical um, rot that you're gonna get from this rubber. And here on the back side as well, you can see it's pretty rough. Yeah. So how am I gonna fix this? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the T-tops on for the show. I'm not gonna take those off. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna cover up those issues, those two, and that's not gonna be too hard. Luckily, if you look up here, right there, I've got a roll of two inch tape. And this tape is a lot like, um, electrical tape your black electric tape you wrap up your wires with and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that and I am going to cover that section and tuck it in and it's going to look brand new black and glossy it might be just a little lumpy but compared to what I have now it's going to be a huge improvement so uh, let me get the tape down and uh, throw some tape on here see how it looks okay so what I've done is taken the teeth tops off so I can find the top edge of this. I've opened the door and I've, I've put a towel down here to keep the door from shutting on me so I can find the bottom edge. And each side is pretty easy to find. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this tape out and get something about that long and I'm going to trim it down and tuck it in using a little knife. Um, yeah, let me uh, let you get in here and see just how it looks. As you can see, I have just a little gap between the interior panel that I can tuck the tape into, and there's actually a little gap between 
the body of the car and that rubber molding so I will have plenty of places to tuck this in. I have just a couple little wrinkles in there but it is much better and the top edge is not quite finished well but I'm not too worried because I know the t-tops will come over and hide a lot of that. I'm just worried about that part and it looks pretty good. Most people walking up would think that that's just the type of rubber it is. So now all I have to do is the front pillar and then I can work on the next tip I have for y'all. Okay before I give tip number three I thought I'd let y'all have a look at how this pillar turned out. It looks a lot cleaner. I still have a wrinkle right here that needs to work in. I'm sure with some of the summer sun it will uh, hold right down. Um, and again with the t-tops on this this is all going to get covered up pretty much but all of this will look great. I have a little bit of discoloration right here on my A-pillar um, interior plastics but I'm going to work with that. Okay so that's like tip number two I got and take care of with that little black tape right there on the side. Um, now let's go on to tip number three. Uh, tip number three, I'm going to show you some issue I have with my door jam or actually the window seal and um, I'm just going to try to work with it. There's no real big budget stuff going on here. These are all cheap, easy fixes and that will just help. Won't make the problem go away, but it will help it make it look better for your car shows. All right, so let me turn it around and let you see this extra area here that really annoys me. Okay, if y'all haven't already spotted this, um, if you'll see where the window comes out of the door, it has the original color of the vet, which was war bonnet yellow, and you can see it down through there. The glass is right there. You can see the top of the glass right here. But all of that is really annoying to me that you can, I can't keep the window down. Look how large the gap is right there. It's really something that I'd like to hide. And the issue is there's something not holding. This shouldn't be but the thickness of the window. And it's a little thicker than that. So, well, if I can't get that gap to close, the best thing I can do is at least get it the same color as the car. And so I'm going to do some just basic mask it off and paint it black. It's going to get it to hide a lot better. And you know what? It's just a car show. It's a driver. I'm going to just tell them whatever they need to hear to get them to leave me alone. But uh, I'd like to have the windows down so people can walk by and look inside the interior of the car. Um, uh, right now I have some gray towels in there because I don't like sitting on the vinyl and two my seats are discolored a little bit um, they were burgundy seats and somebody's dyed black and the dye is starting to come off so that's a whole nother issue I might not be able to tackle that um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to swap those gray towels out for black towels and I'm going to kind of fold them up nice and neat so where it looks like I just have towels sitting there and there's nothing wrong with the seats but for right now Wow, this eyesore's got to go. And I am going to get some spray paint in a can, and I'm just going to do what I got to do. Now, if you remember, I just opened up this box with the HEI distributor in it, and that box is right here on top of the car. That's right. I'm going to use that box. I'm going to slide it down between the glass and the door so I'm not spray painting the glass of my window. Okay, so here I've got it taped off. Um, I'm going to be very careful with where I'm spraying, how hard I'm spraying. I've got a piece of cardboard in here between the side of the door and the glass. So the spray going down in there doesn't coat the inside of my window glass. And I've actually taped this up here because I might give it a little shot. I'm not sure just yet. Anyways, this is ready to kind of spray at and try to clean some of that up. look at the finished product here you can see that the t-tops hid the top edge of that tape pretty well 
And as far as this gold paint down in here, it seems to be pretty well covered up. I've got a few spots I'd kind of like to got better. You have to get just at the right angle to get to it, but as far as the car show goes and you step back, I think uh, that's a lot better to the eye. Less things to kind of be looking and picking at. Um, yeah, that's, that's some of the tips and tricks I have for y'all guys. Um, and there's a couple of spots in here that I had missed with the paint that didn't get really well. And I went back to tip number one, which is use a black marker. And that's what I did. Looks like I got a spot right there, a little bitty one that I could probably touch up with the black marker. Anyways, I'm going to go to the other side of the car and I'm going to clean it up as well. And as far as the car show goes, I'm pretty satisfied. I know the car is not going to be best paint job or anything like that. Um, and I don't know if y'all also realized that brown paper came out of the package I got today. So I'm using paper it, it, to recycle is my, you can see it here on the floor, for tape off and paint things with. That's just kind of how I roll. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so let's get this car ready for the car show. Good morning, it's the next day. It's actually car show day. I've actually uh, took, took the car out yesterday and kind of cleaned up a little bit. And um, I've got a package that came in the mail. I've got my application all filled out, what class I'm gonna be in and everything. Um, anyways, uh, a little bit of mail call before uh, we do anything this morning. This one should be a good one. Um, this one's not going to be really car related, per se, but it's going to help me out on my channel a little bit, hopefully. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a box here, a box there. Let me get rid of this. All right, let's see what we got here. This one has a torn box on it. That's a little bit weird, but it looks like everything else is in there. Okay, this is what I was wanting to try out. This is a little clip that goes on your dash and you can mount your phone here and maybe I can mount this to the dash Corvette and get a little better pictures uh, video going down the road. It also has, um, this is what goes into your air cleaner vent if you wanna use that. Um, let's see how this thing works. Yeah. That looks like a pretty good deal right there. All right. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to work. It looks like it's going to be facing the, the actual dash. It won't hold it up to where it faces down the road. Um, yeah. All that I can do is uh, put it on there and try. Might have to put something large underneath this end to tilt it back up a little bit further. We'll, we'll give that a shot. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Now let's go for this next piece here. I'm almost afraid to cut this. Oh, mm. comes in a fancy little case. Maybe this is really worth its money. I try to buy the cheapest thing possible and usually that backfires on me. Uh, for Bruce, I guess is what it's called. Actually, this looks really nice. All right. So what I have here, y'all can't see that. So y'all might not realize, but <laughs> whenever I'm talking to you, I'm actually talking to this mic. Sometimes I pat my chest and it really messes the audio up. Um, this mic is actually hard corded to the phone and I don't know how many times I've pulled that phone off the top of this shelf off into the floor and my nice 7 it's a Samsung 7 it's uh, cracked on the lens a couple spots because of that anyways this is a Bluetooth lapel mic so I can walk around and be separate from the phone not pull it off all the time this is awesome I can't wait to try this so it looks like I have a little mic here and I would really like to see it have like some kind of, oh, here they are. Yeah, this keeps the wind noise down and awesome. So I'm gonna put this together and give it a shot. 
Okay, everybody, I'm here at uh, my local pack sack. I like pack sack. Um, anyways, I'm here. I got some a soda, some donut holes and stuff, something to eat, and a couple bottles of water because that's important to have whenever you go in your uh, car show. But we're on our way, so uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Let's see some of the road trip.
Okay, so we have made it here, and uh, there's several cars already beat me here. Anyways, we're still setting up, and uh, cars are just starting to roll in and uh, find little, their own little parking spots. Um, so, what's probably going to come next is y'all going to get to see a good little slideshow with a little bit of background music of cars that made it to our show. So, sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
everybody. We're doing a great show here today, and uh, I think the favorite vehicle out of everybody out here is this one right there, the taco truck. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyways, we're having a great time. We're handing out a bunch of door prizes. All right, the show's over. It's time to head back to the house. It just rained, and just as we finished putting everything up. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is, since I'm out here in Thompson Park, it's a huge park, lots of trees, nice and green, and a little bit overcast, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a trip around the park real quick. It's real pretty. Check it out. Okay, it's next day, and uh, we just got finished that car show yesterday, and I had to drive home. I didn't get much shots coming home because it started raining on me. I had troubles with my wipers. They weren't coming out, and man alive, I, I wanted to use both hands on the wheel and not uh, try to mess around too much with the camera. Now, this thing I did use uh, through all them shots. I tried to hold it steady sometimes. It seems to time kind of want to jiggle a bit, so I'm not too sure this is the best application for me. I am pretty sure I know what I need and it's the suction cup one that sits to the, the windshield. I think that's going to be the most stable and that's exactly what I need. Anyways, um, hey, it didn't cost me much and uh, it's a good, good thing to learn. Uh, maybe y'all can learn from uh, that, that this thing, it depends on where you mount it. If you mount it to the dash itself, if you're able to do that because your dash has to be about that thick and that's where that would go. I couldn't do that. What I ended up doing was sticking it to the rearview mirror and that was an extension of the car and it added a little more vibration than I'd like. Anyways, um, let me show you under the hood just a, a sec here about my wind, windshield wiper issues I was having. Okay, so what we have here is this section actually pops up and forward just a, about that far and the wiper blades come out from underneath it. I had two issues. It wouldn't come up at all. I tried, I tried, I tried using the choke to increase my vacuum. Um, it didn't, it didn't help any. So I have a container right over there. And what we have is there's a stem here that pushes into this area to that right down in there. And it's what lifts this up and it wasn't working. And so what I tried to do is while I was running down the road is I went ahead, you can reach in here and actually pull this thing and it will lift up by hand. And so I lifted it all the way up and I put the vice grips on it to hold it in the up position so the blades can come out and go back down as they please. Um, but that didn't help me. Um, I had another issue, this wiper blade on this side, um, it would get halfway up and that's where it would stay. It's like it, it's lost grip of its post down in there. 
So that means I need to take this grill off, I need to pop this thing up, and I need to get in there and work on all of that. And I need to figure out something to do with that to get it to open. So that was hard, trying to drive home in the rain and you have no wiper blades. So I had to take my time, I had to stop frequently and clean off the windows. Other than that, it was pretty fun. Um, now I've got to get in and clear out all the junk back in the back and I've got to, yeah, getting it all uh, put away after the car shows, that, that's what happens. Let me get y'all guys set back up here. Yeah, um, luckily I have a clean workbench. Uh, I also have the new distributor I'm gonna put in. That's gonna come up here in this ne next episode or two. Um, what else did I get for the car? I think that's about it. Gonna see how well this uh, held up for me. If not, I'm gonna find some other way of attaching that to the car. That's gonna wrap up this video. That was a nice car show. Everybody enjoyed themselves out there. No problems. The weather uh, held off until the end of the show and they all just scooted out of there and then it just started raining on us. So uh, yeah, we'll do some more car shows. I like that and I hope you enjoyed the slideshow. So until next episode, y'all have a good weekend.